everyone, it's Donna here from Donna's Creative Corner and I'm back again with video number two for today with more vintage linen um, linen and clothing pieces bundles. Um, so continuing on with lot W. This one starts with a collar that has this, I'm not sure what, what that is there, kind of a, a knitting around it with some linen at the top. Oh, I guess I guess this part folded over and that was the, the front of the collar. <clears throat> it also has another one of, this one has another one of those kind of yoke pieces that would, or maybe a dicky, I don't know snaps around the back, it has this ruffled lace coming down the, uh, around the sides and down the front. This one doesn't have any buttons on it. It's already that tea stain color. This one has two, these are very tattered. I believe these were probably the cuffs on something. These are uh, definitely antique. You can cut these apart and get this this trim. There's like three layers of this trim on each one. There's two of these. Here's an embroidered uh, linen piece. You can see the embroidery. Here's another um, color piece with white with the embroidery on it. Can you hear my cat meowing at me? He's getting hungry and he's locked in the room with me right now. This one is another piece. It's like a big T. I'm not sure what this was. Maybe that around the cuff and then this going up the sleeve. I don't know. But it has this pretty... Oop, oop, too close, too close pretty lace with the ruffles around it. Almost like a eyelet kind of cut work. That's a lot W. <clears throat> We're still on lot W. This one's definitely, oops, definitely old. An embroidered lace with the rough uh, lace around the bottom. So this piece, which is kind of tattered, but very, very pretty, very unusual. This is like really dimensional stitching in through, in through here. And it goes around to four sides. There's some damage to this one. You can see that, especially on this end. So that's in lot W. There's another um, kind of collar or yoke piece with the very light linen embroidered edge on both sides. You have this piece, it's almost like a big, it's a big bow. Nope, oh, this is the right side. A big bow piece with the lace around the edge and like a sheer, very sheer linen in the middle. That's still in lot W. We have this piece with the little tiny fabric colored covered buttons, three of them on this and the trim around the edge. larger one right here with the eyelet design <clears throat> design on it kind of eyelet around here yet another one with some frilly lace going around it
Uh, oh, there's two pieces to this one. That's the back sides. There we go. This one's a white with the embroidered and the eyelet around the edge. This one is very, very delicate, very old. It has some age staining to it. And it's got this, you've got some damage here. Very, very lightweight. That one's been around a while. That one's been around the block. This one's really pretty. This one's more of a cafe au lait color with the kind of a l'ensemble and dimensional um, stitching on it. We're still on lot W. This one's really pretty embroidered piece. Gorgeous. This one's just a plain linen with a, um, a scalloped edge all the way around. And finally, the two final pieces in here look to be bonnets what used to be bonnets. This one is a pink. It's kind of a, you can see the head would go in here and this would tie around the around the chin. Very light. And this one is probably a child's, child's cap with little embroidery on it. <clears throat> so all of that was lot W. And I am asking 25 for that one. Ooh, move this out of the way. Okay. And finally, lot X has more collars. This one has um, some eyelet around the edge and this pretty detail on the, on the, the sides here. It's like a cutwork eyelet type with some cross hatching in the middle. This one has a little bit of age staining on it. And this one is kind of an eyelet embroidered, very lightweight fabric with some lace around the edge. It comes the other side here. I just love these things. I just can imagine the stories behind them. This one looks like it might have been off of a child's, because there's the, the neck piece, a child's garment. Very lightweight, and it has these little um, row of mother of pearl buttons going down it. And here's another another bow with a netting and um, embroidered netting in the middle and then um, lace around the edge. There's the lace and the embroidered netting. Mm, there's some holes in this one. Not perfect. Most of these are not perfect. I'm going to come out for this one. I've never seen uh, such a large piece of tatting before. This was the front, the front of, of something. It's got tatting that goes all the way around the neckline, around the back of the neck. And then this is the, the front of the whatever it was. It has a, it has a, like a tool, a netting on the back and tatting on the front. I don't know. Those of you, I, I know I have some customers that do tanning, and I my hat's off to you because I would not have the patience to do something like this, so detailed. It's just amazing. Look at that. And that's the whole, the whole front is these flowers that are kind of stitched to, uh, together. 
So that's also in lot X. Have another another collar. Can't tell which side is right. What this has almost a well, I don't know what what type of lace that is. It's got a rose design across it. Almost a Venice lace along the edge. This one is more of a crocheted piece. It has these um, dimensional flowers on them on it. Can you see that? Those are all on it in the, the leaf leaves. another um, collar piece that has linen with embroidery on it a little dainty scalloped edge some damage there some staining this one is old this one's really pretty I like this one it's a pretty large Piece. It's like it comes down to a, a point here and then goes back up to this point up here. It's a really pretty, pretty lace, uh, like an Alençon lace around the edge, or maybe a maybe a Valenciennes lace. You've got this lace in the center of the design, and then this eyelet in the middle of it. Gorgeous. I love that one. This one definitely looks vintage. Looks antique, probably. Here's another one with um, with some Venice lace details on it. <clears throat> the open, open weave at the bottom there. It comes around to the other side. Very pretty. Here's another one with some crystals on it. It has three crystals at each side of it. I've got three more down here. Prong set, faceted crystals. Still on lot X. <clears throat> this one has Oops, sorry. These floral trim around the edge. It has that on both sides. Here's a little crocheted piece, and it has these little flower ties dangling off of each each ed edge of it, each end of it. I think that's crocheted. I don't know, it might be a bobbin, bobbin lace. So that's in lot X. Here's a very, here's definitely antique here. Has the dimensional flower. It came off of something with, that was the, the linen or cotton. Look at that. And this is already that antique color. Very pretty. Small piece, but very. That one tells a story too, I'm sure. Here's another antique one. Look at that. Gorgeous. I love this lace. Not a very big piece, but that one tells a story too. And the final piece in Lot X, the final piece I'm going to show you today, we're finally at the end. This one is a, a large, a large piece. I can't even show the whole thing to you. I'll have to, I have to pan a little bit. This is like a very um, sheer lace with embroidery around the edge. And it goes all the way up on both sides, up to a point. 
and that's on both sides of this. I'm going to come down so you can see this lace that's along the edge of it. Very pretty. Very lightweight. Dainty. So that is lot X. The final lot of today. And this one I am asking $20 for. Uh, and I only have one of this one. Um, if any of you buy these, anyone who buys these lots for me, I would absolutely love to see how you use them in your projects. Um, how, how these gorgeous pieces from days gone by are living on in the projects that you guys create and you guys are so creative. So I, I would love to see if you, once you've used these in your projects, I'd love to see them. Uh, if you're interested in any of these lots uh, from both videos today, or a lace grab bag. The instructions on how to order are always in the description box below. Please send me an email and I will let you know whether what you're looking for is still available or not. And as it sells out, I will also mark it as sold down below. So that's all I have for today. Bye for now.